Hi guys welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video we will learn a square root math trick for 4 digit perfect square numbers. This trick can also be used in 3 to 5 digit perfect square numbers. Before we proceed, try to find the square root of 2116 using only your mind. I will give you 5 seconds to answer, and your time starts now. Okay, time is up. The answer is 46, if you get the answer correctly, congratulations. But, if you have not answered it right don't worry. I will teach you the trick. Just make sure to finish the video until the end. Okay, let's go. First, we need to remember the unit digits of all squares from 1 to 10. Here are the squares of 1 to 10. The square of 1 is 1. The square of 2 is 4. The square of 3 is 9. The square of 4 is 16. And so on and so forth. On the other hand, its unit digits are the numbers at the end of each square. When the unit digit of a number is 4, the unit digit of the square root of that number will be definitely 2 or 8. Similarly, this can be applied to other numbers with different unit digits. Now let us learn square root shortcuts by taking these two examples. First example, find the square root of 2116. First step, we need to group the last pair of digits and the rest of the digits together. The first group is 16 and the last group is 21. Second step, Consider the unit digit of the first group. Since the unit digit of 16 is 6. So, we can say that the unit digit of its square root will be either 4 or 6. Third step, consider the second group which is 21. Since 21 comes in between the squares of 4 and 5, that is 21 is greater than the square of 4 which is 16 and 21 is less than the square of 5 which is 25. So, we can definitely say that the tens digit of the square root of 2116 will be 4. So far, we can say that the square root will be either 44 or 46. Fourth step, find the exact unit digit. Now let's proceed to find the exact unit digit. To find the exact unit digit, we consider the tens digit that is 4 and the next term that is 5. What we only need to do is to multiply these two terms. 4 times 5 is equals to 20. Since 21 is greater than 20, the square root of 2116 will be the bigger of the two options and that is 46. And that is the answer. The square root of 2116 is 46. Now, in order to understand better the trick, let us take another example. For the next example we are about to find the square root of 7569. First step, we also need to group the last pair of digits and the rest of the digits together. The first group will be 69 and the last group will be 75. Second step, consider the unit digit of the first group, since the unit digit of 69 is 9. So, we can say that the unit digit of its square root will be either 3 or 7. For third step, consider the second group which is 75. Since 75 comes in between the squares of 8 and 9, that is 75 is greater than the square of 8 which is 64. And 75 is less than the square of 9 which is 81. So, we can say that the tens digit of the square root of 7569 will be 8. So far, we can say that the square root will be either 83 or 87. 
Fourth step, find the exact unit digit. Now let's proceed to find the exact unit digit. To find the exact unit digit, we consider the tens digit that is 8 and the next term that is 9. What we also need to do is to multiply these two terms. 8 times 9 is equals to 72. Since 75 is greater than 72, the square root of 7569 will be the bigger of the two options, that is 87. And that is our answer. The square root of 7569 is 87. Now, in order for you to master the trick, try to answer the following problems. You may pause the video while answering. And here is our answer key. If you like this kind of video, just hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to be updated of my next post. Thank you for watching.